Yo, what's good, y'all? What's going on? It's your boy T Weezy, man. And look, this is the first talks with Weezy episode one, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I hope y'all enjoy, man. Oh, I see. I got a text. I got a text already. It's my nephew. He said, "Tell me, I get NCAA college." <laughs> he be playing the game. Yeah, he be playing the game. Look, this. I got another call. Oh my god. Let me answer this. What up, bro? I'm, I'm I'm podcasting. You hear me? What? I'm podcasting. I got my guest host on here. You, you over here interrupting the podcast, coach? <laughs> yeah, dang. Y'all go ahead and get to it. Oh, hey, bet. Yes, <laughs> crazy how that works. <laughs> it's really crazy. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, he definitely on the game though. Um, but he'd never be here. Like, he'd be here and then he'd be gone. Like, he never on the game. Mm -hmm. So, when that college football came, he's like, I will. I need you to buy it. I'm like, where your money at? <laughs> That's what they, they, he a teenager? He's 17. Yeah, they don't never got no money. Yeah. I got a little brother. That. That's um, always in my pockets. Oh, yeah. See, and always going to be driving somewhere. Right. No, no I, gas, though. Now, see, he got a car. But, yeah. but, I got to give him gas for <laughs> I ain't got time for that. You need a job. Hey. You need a job. I he can get one. 17. Man, he, de he can. He can? He can. He definitely can. He spoiled? I wouldn't say spoiled, but he is. He is. He, he is. know he going to get it. Yeah, pretty much. I got to stop doing it. No. But everybody give it to him. Yeah. So it's, oh, yeah. It's crazy. So if it ain't you, it's going to be somebody else. Yeah, somebody else. And we always give it to him. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. That's crazy. Uh, for y'all that out there that uh, got little siblings or nieces or nephews, stop doing it for them. They got it. They got it. They can definitely get out there. But man, what? They can work. Go get it. We had to. My little 10 year old, he be trying to cut grass. Oh, yeah. See, he got the hustling. Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, you only got to give him a couple dollars. Couple dollars. You know what I mean? It sounds like you got to give him a hundred. You feel me? Couple. He easy what? to please. All he wants to talk. He's probably a Roblox card. Oh, yeah. He good. But he's still on the game, though. The Roblox on the game. Yep. So that's what, like 20? Yep. I'll be giving him like a 20 once. The $10 ain't nothing. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. 20 is what you get. Get that. Yeah. The yeah, them right. kids go crazy with Robux. They do. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I'm, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, never... you wouldn't like all that. You know what I mean? When I was coming up in the gaming world, like it wasn't all that. Yeah, I just like to like, you know, dress them up. So Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you playing Sims over y'all. She playing yeah, Sims. Yeah, Roblox is it's like a whole bunch of little small games <laughs> into this one. Have you ever played Robo Robux? I have seen it. So you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I seen it. So like, yeah. Like you can do everything. I probably would have been on Roblox real bad if I was a kid. It's like a little GTA. Yeah. Like, I mean GTA. In a way. Yeah. And in Sims. Way. Yeah. I was crazy. a Sims girl though. See, I wouldn't never Sims all on GTA. I still play the Sims. Yo, you still play the Sims? Man, it's crazy. Y'all, my bad, man. Look, y'all, this is my guest. You know what I mean? We over here just talking. You feel me? <laughs> this is my guest. Can you introduce yourself, man? Dang. Yeah, I am Key. I mean, that's me. That's you. <laughs> that's you. Y'all, she over here looking at the TV. You feel me? With the camera right in front oh, of yeah, me. Oh, yeah, my bad. Man, crazy, y'all, man. Look. Crazy when you come over here. I got everything wired and everything up. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Huh, crazy. Got the whole little setup going. Whole little setup. You know what I mean? I don't know how I did it. I don't know where this money be coming from. I don't get no money. I'm broke out here. Oh, yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So, let me tell them how this all came, came yeah. upon. So, like, I started off with 20 questions and I felt like people just wanted like musicians to come on and you know what I mean? It was like a hub for artists to just come and get their music out and whatnot. But I wasn't really trying to do that. I was really trying to make it a place for people, regular people like you mm -hmm. or anybody else, you know what I mean, to really just come on and talk they talk, do businesses, you know what I mean, get their brand out there, do whatever, you know what I mean? Just be something for the community. Right. Help a hand. Uh, a hub that way they can get out there and do what they do because there's a lot of people here in the city in Fort Wayne that do a lot right that people, that people don't even know they don't even know about 
Like, like it's, it's a handful of people. So when you had, you got hit me up and said, T, you should do something with everybody and, and actually have like people come on and talk. I'm like, that's what I really wanted to do. I just, I don't know, I kind of left it alone for a little minute. For like two years, I ain't gonna say a little minute, like two yeah. years, it's been like two years. So I appreciate you. Yeah. Because then after this, cause after you hit me, my guy Quay hit me. Mm -hmm. He was like, Wheezy. Bro, you gotta do like the coaches and you know what I mean? Like, just fool. Oh, he was at work and he was just saying, right. like, man, you could be the one to just do this and, and just get the community together. That's you know true. I mean? And you can, you know, we can be, everybody wants somebody to relate to, you know what I mean? Especially to like keep going, I guess. Right, right, right. Cause a lot of people be going through stuff and they don't even understand that it's a lot of people going through the same thing as you. And um, even though I know you was like interviewing like some of the local artists uh -huh. but that haven't even blew up or anything, yeah. you know, um, the only thing the that don't make you important, you know what right, I mean? Right, because right. you have a talent, you know exactly. what I mean? It's some exactly. people out here that just they just we're all human, cool. so I think we all got some type of art to ourselves. Right, right, right. Exactly. Some kind of creativity. Yeah, literally, you just gotta find it. Like find it. Like so many people, like growing up. We we get we got imaginations and whatnot, and we don't never follow dreams. Like, like I think that's what's stopping everybody from like achieving goals and whatnot. Like they get grown and think like, oh, you got all this stuff, all this stuff that's bills, in your way, the, bills, yeah, you know kids. What I mean? kids, all that. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's still achievable. You just gotta make time for it. Right. Like literally, like I make time for this now. I don't I don't have no kids, but. I be doing a million different things, you know what I'm saying? So like to make time for this is crazy. Like I'm already a, I've been an engineer, I've been producing, I've been doing photos, photography, I've been doing videos, you know what I mean? It's a lot, and a lot of people will hit me, and I'm like, man, all right, I gotta do it this day, that day, that day, this day, barely be eating. All right. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it just comes to territory. How bad you want it, but even if you want it bad enough, you should still be doing it because you like it. It's something you love to do. Right. That's what it's about, you know. Life is about finding what you like right. and doing what you like and make money doing what you like. You know what I mean? Like True. I you can make money. the type of person to just settle for less, mm, especially right. like if it's a job. Right. You trying to go get. It. I'm, yeah, so but I'm definitely ain't trying to, yeah, like, if, if, even if the job made good money, if you're not happy there, go find where you happy at, you mm. know what I mean? Like, that's mm. how I feel. That's, that's how big. I feel you should yeah. live life, because that's yeah. how you keep those depressed days away. Man. That's how you keep that's those true. crash out, those, um, those days where you just feel like, I just don't want to do this, or this how, this is how you keep your job, I guess, you know, when you really right. do something that you want, because I know it, because... I quit a job quick. You quit a job <laughs> quick. How many, job, how many jobs you done had? Like, total. You don't know? Nah, probably like 10. Like 10? Yeah. Okay. Just because. Okay. You be quitting. It ain't even that I be quitting because I, I, I have stayed at jobs for a minute, you know, because okay. I'm the type of person that literally go and do what I want to do. Right, know? right, right. And I do hair. Okay. So if okay. I ever feel like a job not serving me, or though they don't appreciate me, I could let them go because I can go home and make money. Mm. And I don't gotta worry about them. I watch my kids. I can, mm. I can make. I can run it up in my living room. You run it up. Okay. So. Mm. So that's why I, yeah. that ain't that nothing point. that I gotta depend on. So. You know. So with that, you know what I mean. I mean, do you receive backlash sometimes? Like why you ain't in the shop or? You ain't a professional because you ain't got a shop or you ain't doing this and doing that. I've, you know what I mean? I've never you encountered that. No, I never received mm. backlash, even though um, mm. I think I just do what I do good, you know? Okay. Like, I have never had nobody get on Facebook and make a status about me. Okay. That's good. That's good. Or anything about my work. I'm right. not saying that every time I did somebody here, they liked it, but right, right, I, right. I can say that I feel like they had respect enough not to. You know, because most people, if they do come and I and if I do do business with you, right, I respect you. You know, I, um, if 
if I'm late, I can accommodate you. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, I'm not charging for dumb stuff. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. Like, if okay. you, you know what I mean? I'll wash your hair. Yeah. I'm not licensed, but, you know, yeah. we're going to wash right. your hair. I don't like right, touching right, your right. hair. So okay. it's just like, okay. I I feel like I just handle it royal. And I do, I braid, so braid. I'm not really doing nothing that I need a license for. You lock? You locks? I'm getting into locks. She getting into locks, y'all. I ain't all my lock gang. Locks. She, she getting into them. She yeah, doing, you know what I mean? So, that's what's up, though. But yeah, I just, mm, I be trying to um, treat people how I want to be treated. Mm. I feel like if you, most people That's come to me, I don't even think they come to me because they think, I know they, my braids are good, don't get me wrong. Okay. But I know yeah. that's not That's the only reason why people come. Right. I know, right, right. I know people come to me just to talk, just mm. to, and see. just right. to get some shit off their chest sometimes or to catch me up or. And that's good. Yeah. That's or probably good. for some laughs. Cause me and the girls who hair I do, we, whether I do your hair for the first time. Right. You know, I try to connect with time. them. Yeah. That's I try good. to. That's good. Cause a lot of that's, I think, you know, matter of fact, we gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta drop that. That was a gym. That was a gym. Look, if y'all doing something out here, if you're doing something out here and you good at it and people keep coming back and coming back, that's satisfaction. It is. But when you, when you actually touching their lives and they actually communicating with you and, and they genuinely like you mm -hmm. and want to talk to you and let you into their lives, that's when you know, that's also awesome the feeling for me, for me at least, you know what I mean? Like, you satisfied, you done made somebody day, or you might have changed their lives because you didn't talk to them just that one time. Mm -hmm. you know I, had, I, mean? um, I had did this girl here uh, for a wedding. Shout, right. You know, shout out to Diana, we was man, together. Not, man, we was definitely in there together. That was yeah, we was in there together. That was a crazy <laughs> day. Hey, look, shout out to, uh, now I can't even call her Diana Griggs no more. Diana She's, Williams. Diana Williams, oh, she got my last name. She ain't married to me, though. She ain't married to me. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's my girl, though. That's one of my best friends. Um, Yeah, it was, that was a crazy day. That was it a was. crazy day. It was. I had the, uh, a couple of her bridesmaids here the day before. Okay, okay. And um, Then you was you was a little late. The next, I was. Yeah, you was, you, was, you was late. I was a little late. You was late. That was, that was crazy. I was a little late. Because they told me who was doing the hair. I'm like, I don't know a couple of Kianas. I'm like. I don't know one Kiana that do hair. I'm like, okay. And I just and I just saw you and talked to you like a <laughs> couple days prior. I had I and, had must have I I I had woke up on time. Yeah. But I had woke up too early and I fell back asleep. And I remember waking myself up like, oh my goodness, this is this girl wedding day. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But I made it there in the she cool. Made it there. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it, she, you know. she definitely made it there. She did a thing. I mean, she definitely hooked her up. But and, I was saying that. Mm -hmm. I had did her bridesmaid here the day before, mm -hmm. and um, she had got something she never got before. She had got mm -hmm. some, you know, and uh, when I got done doing her hair, she was, like, about to cry. Oh, man. She, lo she just really loved her hair that much, and oh, wow. I'm like, girl, save them tears for tomorrow. Dang. I don't she about know to what cry. to do, but I do love making people feel beautiful. Right. Like, I do. I really do love it. That's good. That's good. I'm not, um, it's not nothing that I want to do for her. A career, not career. my primary career, or I would been really. Mm, no, I would have. I would have been probably like. Yeah. You know, so. I would do it full time. I don't even do it full time. I do it, you know, on the days I got time to do it. You know. So you just you just love to do hair. It's a side hustle. Side hustle. It's just something. Okay. I just feel like as a black girl, we just do hair. Mm, okay. You know, I, I, don't I ain't know. gonna lie. It's kind of true. Yeah, I, I just feel like that's just something that we do. Kind of still. And, and I feel like if you a black girl that can't do hair. Oh, your black car revoke? Something wrong. Oh, black car is wrong. Oh, y'all. Can't do hair ace. So. Can't do nothing. Like, you can't do a little something. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dang. Slick the edges down. Something. You, know you got to be able to something. <laughs> something. Dang, that's crazy. But, yeah, that that's that's fulfilling. Okay, that's what's up. So, if you weren't getting paid, would you, would you still be doing it? If I wasn't getting paid? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Mm. Like just to know, just That's, to know how to do okay. it. Yeah. Okay. So you passionate about this? Yeah, yeah. it's like a. Um, 
I got a daughter, so it's okay. just like I want to so. stay on top of the styles. You know right. what I mean? So whatever, you know, I, I want to always know. I love little girls and braids. Okay. Love it, love it, yeah. love it. So any like little new style, I try it in my daughter hair. You know, I right. practice. I got a little personal little baby doll, and that's what I did as a little girl. I played yeah, with my baby dolls. That's kind of hard. That's hard. That's what. That's hard. Uh, and you can make a little money, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing never wrong with a little more money coming in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. If you don't like money, make the world go around. That's what's up. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. You know what I mean? So, what do you? What's, what's your ultimate goals? Like, what do you, what do you want to do with your life? Like, I'm, I know that's very broad. A lot. Like, since you, a lot. You know what but, I mean? Because um, I've been knowing you for a minute. I've been knowing you since, like, middle school. Right. Since, like, Blaine, middle school. I want to do something, like, something that's purposeful. Like, I want to I want to do something, like, but don't touch hit. somebody's life. Like, you know, I want it to be, like, when I go somebody, or I want people to be, like, oh, my goodness, she did this. Like, you know, yeah. like. I want to be remembered for like good things. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Like That's in good. helping girls, helping little girls that, you know, that don't have. They don't have it all together. They don't yeah. have it all together. Don't, don't even resources. have guidance, you yeah. know? That's just something that I want to do, like, just to like fulfill, like, you know, the the little girl, yeah. you so know, I, like okay. my okay. younger self. Yeah. But. So how was you? I want to have my hands in everything. Like me and my little cousin right now, I'm working on a daycare. Okay. We getting that started. You know, I always wanted okay. that, but we got the opportunity to do it now. Yeah. That was something I wanted to do after like I kind of like like in my 40s or something, but how I got the opportunity well, to do it now. So. I can't ask you how old are you because it ain't right to ask a lady how old they are, but I don't care how old are you. I'm 29. Man. 29. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 29. So you right there with me? Yep. Dang, we almost there. Mm-hmm. We almost at Thirty Club. Yeah. Man, I ain't old though. Man, you know. Nah, I, I ain't old. I don't me. feel old. You feel me? They be saying it right. You know I, mean? I don't even look you know thirty, so you really don't. You, you definitely don't. I ain't tripping. You look the same since we was kids. Like, it's right. crazy. Yeah, I, I ain't crazy. tripping. I feel like with age, it, wisdom, that's the best thing that a person can have. Right. Ooh, Cause the little girl. Man, I was look, a little girl. She was a little high. I'm grown head. now. <laughs> So, <laughs> so yeah, now, I I'm love good. I love what life done to me. It mm-hmm. didn't fuck me up. Would you Would you ever change anything? Nope. No, nope. no regrets. No, like that. that's good. That's I don't good. have no regrets. That's I mean, good. I do, but I don't. Like, I can't even say that I regret it because I got I got like blessings out of everything. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'd be here if I change anything. So, right. hmm. I don't think I'm in a bad place at all. Y'all, I'm so, sorry. My dog barking. I don't know what he on. He just got him. Man, shout out to Shatera K. Oh, she on my dog. You feel me? <laughs> Man. Uh-uh. No, that's what's up, though. But yeah, what's I want to do a lot in life, though, to go back to that question. I want to um, have my hands in a little bit of everything. So okay. that's what I'm working on. Like Right now, I do like nursing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So you know, okay, okay. And I'm tr- I'm about to go to school to be a nurse, but like I do like a little QMA thing. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, and um, so what, hair. what? 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 What stopped you from going to school in the beginning? You know what I'm saying? The thing that stopped me from what going to school in the beginning you? is because of student loans. Hmm. Like I hey, always, <laughs> I always feel like. It was a like a hoax, you know what I mean? Like you go to school for this many years, and then it's all this money you got to pay back. So it's just like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm definitely in that category. You I'm just go, boat. you go yeah. to school um, just to pay the shit back. Yeah, you know. I mean, but I ain't gonna lie, like you, you do okay for the people that do got student loans. Like me, I ain't gonna lie, I got student loans for real. Mm-hmm. Went to Indiana Tech, um, mm-hmm. but I got a, got a good education. But it wasn't even about the education for me. It was more about the experience mm-hmm. and the learning. Like what what I learned, I don't I probably would have learned it eventually as I went on, but it was good that I got the experience of a college lifestyle and just meeting people. Mm-hmm. Like the, the biggest thing you can do is meet people. Like when we kids, our parents tell us don't talk to strangers. Mm-hmm. But when we out in this world, 
we are strangers. We are strangers, and that's crazy to me because in order to meet new friends or new people, we got to talk to strangers. Right. That's crazy, ain't it? It's crazy analogy. I understand why we kids not talk to strangers, but when we grow up, when we get up to age, we got to talk to strangers. And I think, I think that whole, I don't need a new friend and mm-hmm. stay to myself. I don't think that that is good. Like, I feel right. like the connections that you make in this world really put you in places that oh, you yeah. can't get by oh, yourself. Yeah. So. It do. I Dude. learned that as I was growing up. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like I, 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 I had to realize, like, hmm. I need the right friends. You know what I mean? I need right, the friends yeah. that. That support, that motivation. Want, that want to, yeah. That want to succeed. That want stuff. That yeah. kind of want similar things to me. You ain't got to right. want the same thing. But right, right, right. Just something similar. Exactly. And, um, because life definitely not all about having fun and having somebody to have fun mm. with. Mm, it, right. gets, it gets real. Get real, real on the field. You need somebody that be there when it's when it's real, right? Mm. And I'd like to be that friend, so you know what I mean. So I feel okay. like I feel like go, I attract good people. Go about that. Did you did you have any did you have any people that you thought like coming up, growing up, you thought that was gonna be there with you, and they're not there now? Mm-mm. No. Oh, okay, that's what's up. I got it. Like I got some of my friends. I got. I, We've been friends since middle school. That's what it's doing. We still together. Locked we in. still locked, locked in. in so. Locked in. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Drake, no new friends. New friends. Oh, I don't mind new couple? friends. I got a couple yeah, new friends yeah. and I okay. love them girls. Okay. They, okay. We, they, we all chasing the same thing. Mm, chase, so chase that. We okay. trying to be good moms. Trying to set goals for ourselves. Okay. Accomplish them. That's read. Um, eat better. All these, okay. all these things, like, so I, I, I got a couple of new good friends. Okay, that's good, that's good. And I got some old ones, and we, and they, they never was bad friends, you know. Right. And we had our ups and downs, but so yeah, get them. yeah, we definitely got the one. Yeah, so, that's yeah. those, those real friends. I don't really got no friends that's here. That I mean, that's not here. That you know what I mean? Right. That shouldn't be. Here. Mm-hmm. Except for if they got if they passed away, right? Man, I got a lot of them. Cause I ain't gonna lie, like I was told the to same in like sixth grade. Um, that man, I got in trouble in sixth grade. I was at Lane. It was like the last week or two of school. And I you had, got in um, trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got in trouble. Yeah, it's crazy. I had, um, I was getting bullied. You know what I mean? On the bus. Mm-hmm. So I had brought a knife to school, and then they found it. You know what I mean? Then I had to go through all the, the whole process and everything. Did you get expelled? Uh, I mean, it was like the, it was literally like the last, what three, four days. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, no, no I ain't like like the last three, four days. It was like a week or two. Um, so yeah, I did get expelled. Um, but I was in the meetings and whatnot, and um, the only reason why I ain't like really go to war for real or nothing like that, cause I ain't go through none of that. My teachers have out for me. Uh, I will never forget Miss Wyndham. Mm-hmm. Uh, she had, um, she spoke so highly of me. Because I wasn't doing nothing. I was always cool. I was calm, collected. I was chilling. I wasn't in nothing. Um, and the statements of the teachers had helped me get out of that jam. But, but the principal was like, um, the principal was like, you find out who your real friends are. And you like getting to college and outside of school, and that stuck. That it just stuck with me. That's true. You know what I mean? I, 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 yeah. Like, now that we older. Yeah, like just stuck with me. You hear me? And I'm like, dang, it was really right. And I know we was young and we don't want to listen to nothing, but that really stuck with me. But they they right. They right. They are right because the only friend that I, I only have one friend from. Mm back in the day and yeah. it's because we really went through stuff together. It's been right. times where I needed her so bad and she was there. Mm. You know, and vice versa. And yeah. we love each other kids, you know what I mean? And right, right, right. 
if she, she, you know, I just, we just always had each other back. Like, we sisters. Yeah, sisters. You know, it's more when, you, than when you can, right, yeah, when, when you, you can really, like, when you can really look at somebody as a different, you know. Yeah. When they, when they not, not blood, when they yeah. not blood related, you know what I mean? And they, and they. Like, you family, like, yeah. you locked in, you know what I mean? Man. Like, locked, locked in. It's hard to come by people like that. Like, I always tell people, like, even here, like, I got a lot of acquaintances. I ain't got a lot of friends, but a lot of acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Know a lot of people. Um, and, I all, and I live by that code ever since I was 11 when my brother died. I live by that. Yeah. You you know, I only got, I only got time for, like, friends that's really, like, doing something. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do something. Yeah, like, I want to do something. Yeah. Like, I know I'm easily likable. And I yeah. know other people can be easily likable, you know? Yeah, but definitely, definitely. Some stuff just not important to me. Right. I don't really I care. Uh, I don't really care to be, like, you know, for those friends that's just want to Partying out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like partying and drinking every day, smoking and whatnot, which is cool. I have no problem with them, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. they, they cool. They, they bring the vibes, you know what I mean? But we bring the vibes, too. It's a different type of vibe, but somebody got to be calm, cool, and collected in the group. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm always a mom of the group. I'm always the one you. you oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, they want to give me a shot. Get her not yeah. so focused because I'll be looking around. I need to know my surroundings. I need to right, know right, where right. they at. Who here? Who coming? Nah, I feel you. I feel you. On that. Somebody got to be paying attention. Man, yes. right? No, nah, for real. That's that, that's me all the time. Like I don't I don't really smoke or drink. You know what I mean? I may have like, well, I may have a little shot. You know what I mean? Every once in a while. <laughs> But I ain't no drinker or smoker like that. So when all my friends be seeing me, they see me with a cup, I be like, man, I got Pepsi. You feel me? That's what I'm sipping on. Good. I'm sipping on Pepsi. You know what I mean? They all laugh. But I'm like, hey, I'm cool. Y'all do what y'all do. I'm laughing at y'all for the rest of the night. <laughs> and we still going to have fun. I be needing something to help me unwind. If not, I, I can right. kind of be kind of stiff. 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 <laughs> yeah, and no, I feel you. I feel you on that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Everybody, everybody need that something that that you know what I mean. Everybody needs something to get them loose. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying. Stuff. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, so with that, what's um, what show? So coming up, coming up, it's a lot of things happening. So mm -hmm. you said you got a daughter. So. Mm -hmm. Is, does she do any sports or anything like that? Mm. We started gymnastics and oh, uh, something different. What was that about gymnastics? Yeah, uh, ballet. Was it like dance? Yeah. Dance. Okay. Okay. And she was really, 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 really shy at that time. Okay. So it didn't last long. I knew her going on the stage. It was she would ruin their dance. So. <laughs> um, Say she's clumsy. Yeah, it's not even that she clumsy. She would just stop. She oh, was wow. so shy. She, shy. Oh, she was young, and she was like three or oh, four at the time. So. Oh yeah, yeah, she's shy. She's six now. Oh, okay. She kind of came out her show a little bit, but okay. she's still a shy little girl. So, okay. but um, that's her thing, like a dance type of thing, cheering. She ain't really super athletic. Right. She, she ain't. She's she not like even showing any interest in nothing athletic besides cheering i guess uh -uh. So. she she gonna do metro um i let her do metro okay okay uh, gonna do metro there's been a lot going on with metro this year metro <laughs> i ain't do metro really growing up you ain't do so, metro that's crazy mm -mm. oh okay and um <laughs> so um I'm not really crazy about Metro. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I do want my kids being uh, activities. Don't get me wrong, but uh -huh. Metro, I don't know. It's just when I, I don't want to say too much on here about Metro because they ain't did shit to me. <laughs> but my son play. He play. I, he want to play so bad. He, he wanted to play so bad. So I let him go on up there and okay. Cause you know I never I never thought to put him in it either, but. Um, he he's ten, so ten, he got right. all his little homeboys play. Right, playing, so, so he got like, yeah, so basically, yeah. I mean, you got him in him, there. I ain't you got him in there. I had to put him in. I mean, that he ten, he want to play, he can play, you know. Yeah. So yeah, he 
he um it's his first year, so. Oh, okay. What team was he on? On the Bears. Okay, that's a new team. It's a new team, and it's I wanted him to go team. to a new team because he knew. And hey, hey, you know what? That made good life. And he'll need to be going that to make good life. <laughs> He need to be learning. They ain't got no choice but to learn. They, That's they out there getting humbled this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll feel you on that. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> got to be humble at times. Got to start on humble when, when they're young. Like me. Like, I'm super humble. Like, it's a lot of stuff. I, I, done, I, done, no, I done did so much stuff. But I'm just, I'm hmm. chill. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't really get to be. Uh, I think that's the way I got to be. Cause I don't, I don't like egos. Me either. Like egos. But that's a man thing, though. It is. It is. And in the crazy part, like in my head, I'll be like, oh yeah, I know I'm this, but I won't never admit it. Like out, like I just be like, okay, I let the people say, let yeah. the people talk. Yeah, it ain't, <laughs> that's it ain't, good. It's not for me to go around boasting and bragging and, and be like, oh, I did this, did that, and I'm doing all these great things. Like I know I am. But I'm gonna let people say what they say. Yeah, you gonna let you gonna let your work, work speak for itself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, I don't know. But then, then I then I get people that be like, "Oh, T W Z, you too humble." I'm like, well, if I come off as arrogant, y'all gonna see me as uh, he just know it all and he think he over the whole city. I don't, I don't ever want to think like that. I think you just should be you, be yeah, T W Z. Don't let nobody tell you what you should do. Right. Nobody, don't let nobody tell you what to stop doing. Just do you. But that's the problem, though. A lot of people, a lot of people talk to a lot of people, mm-hmm. and then they get inside their head, and they stop them from doing what they doing, or they, they be like, oh, bro, you can't do this, and they don't never do it. That's true. And I'm like, dang, this is supposed to be your dog, your people. You know what I mean? Why you, why you not encouraging them to do better, go get better? You know what I mean? Do this and do that. It's, I mean, I don't know. You, don't you know. can't. You can't stay in the same spot. You know what I'm saying? Haters. The haters. Haters. They don't ever want to see you do what they scared to do. Mm. They gonna okay. try to put you in a box. Mm. Okay. Uh, I hate for a person to try to put me in a box. It mm. really gets under my skin. Mm. Don't put me in a box. Don't, like, put you in a box. don't tell me what I can do or what I can't do. Don't tell right. me who I am. Nah, for real. Cause, Cause I'm just prove you wrong. Like for me, I always had that. Yeah, because I'm the type of person, like, if I am doing wrong, tell me, like, right. and if you, if you, if you fuck with me, you know, because right. I'm just the type of person, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm never going to just stop growing. Right. So if I'm wrong and you can tell me I'm wrong or if I did something or. And I can fix that. If, like, tell me. Cause like, tell me. You're you know making I mean? me aware. Right. You know? Exactly. You being a friend. You're you making know. me aware yeah. that, you know, I got some flaws, you know. Right. Because everybody got them. Ain't, ain't nobody perfect. I mean, ain't nobody perfect in this world. But it's crazy because we got all the social media, and it's literally just like, oh, you got to have this car. You got to have this crib. You got to have this certain amount of money by you 22, by 23. You feel me? Like, man, you got a whole life to live. See, I try not to do that, too. See, I try not to worship celebrities. Right, right, right. I got some celebrities that I love to, yeah, to yeah. like, yeah. check on, you know, see what they doing and stuff. Right. You know, but I try not to be heavily influenced by them mm. because I'm gonna get lost. You definitely will get lost, <laughs> and I ain't gonna lie. I'll be I'll be around the celebrities, right? On multiple occasions, and how they they, they lifestyle is just different. Mm-hmm. They are different, and depending on who you're around too. You know what I mean? And if you ain't been around them or know what they about, you know what I'm saying? It get get kind of crazy. You'll see yourself doing things that you wouldn't even want to do. Exactly. I was going to ask you that. Like, do you ever, like, feel pressure when you feel around celebrities, like, to spend more money or... Me? Go uh, get some go get some jewelry. Because <laughs> people want to impress celebrities for some reason. And it's just like, <laughs> what are you trying to impress? I ain't, ain't going to lie. Like, like the thought in my head, I ain't going to lie. Like, thought, I'm like, dang, cool. I got to go with this chain. Or I got to go... This bottle, or I gotta go get these going or you know what I mean, something like that. But knowing me, all that don't matter. Of course, I would love to have it, but y'all got it. I'm gonna stay in my lane. <laughs> I, I know where I'm at. In That's life. how I am. I'm just like, listen, I'm just I like, I know where I'm at. 
And 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 true enough, the, the crazy thing, I, I really don't feel pressure by him because when when I'm around him or whatnot, I mean, for me, I treat them as they just a human being. That's what they are. They just regular people. You know what I mean? Like, and I mean, they got. Yeah, I'm not a starstruck yeah, kind of person, so yeah. I could I could be you know sitting I mean? next to, you know, I'm gonna be me. I'm not gonna because right. I don't like ego. You know, right, right, and right. and they only act, especially arrogant people. Arrogant yeah, people yeah, only yeah. act the way they act because somebody stroked their ego. Man, somebody what? told somebody. them they was the shit. Man, what? Ain't nothing wrong right. with that. Yeah, ain't. Because right? I'll with tell it. you, you the shit you if yeah. I think that. But yeah, yeah, no, I Sometimes when some when when some people get a little bit too much. Yeah, they go they go overboard and they get ahead of themselves and then they find out they ain't really nothing. Like none. We all, I mean, we we all humans. And yeah, we all humans. We all got the same blood. You know what I mean? I know we ain't all the same. Definitely. We ain't. Definitely we not, not all the definitely, same. Definitely You know, not. we we got different classes. We got different yeah. tiers. Literally. Of people. There but ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but nobody is better than the next. Exactly. I don't care who you think you is. Right, right. I don't care about the fortune. Exactly. I don't care about the fame. Um, I don't even care about the um, knowledge. You just, you just want to. When it's all said and done. Same way, yeah. We, we treat it right. How you treat people, yeah. That's the golden rule. Treat people how you want to be treated. Yeah. I mean, that's that's basically the, the whole thing. But a lot of people treat people because of what they see and what they do. Popularity, not popular. You know what I mean? Um, Cause I ain't gonna lie. Like people come up to me, and I swear they think I'm popular. Man, I be man, I be trying to be low key. I'm trying to be low key as possible, but I can't. I can't be that. I gotta be. Are you a popular there. loner? Yeah, basically, basically. You know what I mean? I'll be chilling by myself. I don't really go out with people. You know what I mean? Like they be inviting me, I come out. You know what I'm saying? Which ain't nothing wrong with that. But when people see me, I'll be out by myself. Mm -hmm. I really do. You really do. And I just meet up with people. Like I see everybody. What's good? What's cracking? You know what I mean? We gonna party, we not gonna party. It is what it is. I'ma go about my day. See, I'm a, this is when I'm a, when I'm ready to be alone, I wanna be alone. You wanna be alone. The See, only people that's the only people that's that I'm cool with being around is my kids. Mm, so okay. when I go out, you probably gonna see me with a person or two. But it's okay. because Right, you just out. I might just stay at home by myself. <laughs> I Before I just go out here by myself, you know, and most of the time if right. I am somewhere, it's because somebody invited me. Right, right, right. So, but I don't know, like, man, me. I don't think nothing wrong with going like nowhere the, by yourself. I like, I like to explore the world. You know what I mean? It ain't a lot. I like, I like to move on my own time. Mm -hmm. Cause people will slow you down too. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're trying to move and you got places to go, you got people seeing things to do. You know what I mean? I be, I be moving. I move around. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> And plus, you'll be having gigs and stuff, too. Yeah, so. you know what I mean? So I don't have time to just be like, oh, I'm about to chill. I'm about to chill. Mm -hmm. I, I, I never was like that as a kid. Mm. Like, I was always on go mode. I was I was putting in hours to get here where I'm at now to be great. I know that's right. So I was out grinding. Still grinding. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The grind don't stop. Yeah, the grind definitely don't stop. That's the crazy thing. It don't stop. And, it don't. You know, they say more money bring more problems. Right. Do I have more money? No. And that's that's why I ain't got no problems. <laughs> no, I ain't got no problems. But I still, I mean, like, I, I try to avoid them problems. Like, I went to school for communication. Mm -hmm. So I know how to avoid them situations and talk myself out and read the room mm -hmm. and situations. You know what I mean? But then it'd be, sometimes it'd be places where I shouldn't even be. And I still be there because, I don't know, it's a thrill for me. And I know what I'm getting myself into. You know what I mean? Like, like we all grown. You know what's going on. You know what's happening. You I didn't. I didn't be in them situations. Like, I know exactly what, where it was heading, and I like, just you know, yeah, go ahead and went with it because the flow, thrill right. of it. The thrill. You know what I mean? Having it's, fun. Right. Literally having fun. I've been there. Yeah. And sometimes I did. I mean, some of them situations, I'd be like, oh, I do that. But right. I never regret nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Everything. Everything part reason. of the plan. Yeah, yes. I think everything part of the plan. So, yeah, you can't yeah. really make me feel bad about nothing. Mm. Okay, you can't make me feel bad about nothing because I already know. Like no. I knew, like most of the things yeah. that 
I knew it was going to be a bad decision. I just kind of like did it because yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Like, I feel you. When your birthday? January 17th. January 17th. I'm a Capricorn. Ooh, you a Capricorn. Okay. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm a loner. I by, love Aquarius. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a loner by default. We just we be chilling. Nobody gets us. I think, Nobody understands us. I, I think Aquarius are pretty chill, but I think I understand Aquarius. Like, okay. Every, I, mo- most of the closest people in my life are Aquarius. Mm, that's hard. So. That's hard. Me and Aquarius, we get along real good. That's what's up. And that's I was about to be an Aquarius. Like, I was, it was like a couple of days. I'm on the borderline. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You definitely on the borderline. I'm on the borderline, so me Aquarius, I, I can relate a to, lot right. to Aquarius. Nah, I ain't for real. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't supposed to be in Aquarius because I was born what like three months early. Uh-huh. What were you supposed to be? What was I supposed to be? I don't, I don't even know what I was supposed to be. Probably like a Gemini or something. Like March, April, May. So yeah. I'm in May. What, yeah, definitely May, probably like a Gemini May 6th or... or something like that. You know what I mean? Or Aries or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad on the quiz. <laughs> I'm glad you're not a Gemini. Man, hey. Nah, I don't do them. I nah, ain't gonna lie. My brother is a Gemini. But it's crazy because I get along with my brother. But, like, I didn't really grow up with my brother. I grew up with him, but I didn't grow up with him. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah, like, the whole city know my brother is DJ Crazy K. Mm-hmm. And love him. Love him to death. You know what I'm saying? But we we were so far Apart in that age. gap. Yeah, you know what I mean? That age. He was always gone. I was always chilling, you know what I mean? I I wasn't the only child, but I felt like the only child. I got another brother, his name Antoine. He had passed away, mm-hmm. so I was closer to him more so than anything. Then when he passed, then that's when I really, really got close to my brother. Mm-hmm. Um, How old was he when you passed? He was 20. I was 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it was like that, that really hurt. Um, and I knew what was going on at the time, you know what I mean? We we grew up fast. We all grew up fast, you know what I mean? Jumped off the porch early, whatnot. But like we just didn't see it coming. Like it was crazy how it happened. Did he get killed? Yeah, he had uh, uh he had got shot in the greens. Oh. Right there. Uh right there in the front. Uh it was crazy how it went down. because uh, we literally just saw him the night. Same night he had got shot. We saw him. Um, we never knew that was gonna be the last time. Of course. You saw him. Like you never know. So, y'all yeah, for real. Like tell y'all people y'all love them. Like why they still here? Like take the pictures, the moments. I love that that social media is out too because it's it's the moments. Mm-hmm. Capture everything. Yeah. You know? Capture everything. You don't want to miss a moment. You know what I mean? Treasure them. Cause all this one here when what that was what two thousand seven. It was really like just beginning of MySpace days, for real, and it was crazy. He was young. Yeah, young. He was, he was definitely young. Did he have any kids? Yeah, he had one. Um, Is that your nephew? Yeah, yeah, that's my nephew. He's 17, so this happened 17 years ago. Was he, a baby? Yeah, he was a baby. He was five months. <clears throat> five months. Crazy. I know, right? It's crazy. It's fair. Yeah, it's, it definitely ain't fair, but... You know, like I said, everything they happen for a reason. So if it was my family to be here, he'll be here. Do I miss part of the plan? Yeah, yeah everything. Like for and death is promised. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can't escape death. If if God wants you, He wants you. You know what I mean. Are you scared to die? No, I'm not scared. Cause I know we gotta do it. Everybody gotta do it. Like literally, like tomorrow my last day. I'll be okay with that. Because I know, I know for me, I left an impact. Right. Like, I got a status today uh, from my guy, Ghetto. Mm-hmm. And he was real proud of me mm-hmm. for what I'm doing in the city. That that really touched me. Because from where, where we was coming up, from the old fort and, and whatnot, and everybody else has been around and whatnot, like, when you, when you made it out of a place, situation and you get praised for it, that's like the highest compliment. Mm-hmm. Cause it's like you you couldn't you didn't have to make it out. That's true. So it's like and I'm and I'm younger than him and he looked at me like, man, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm proud of you. And that that really meant a lot. 
That's good. People give me your flowers. Crazy. Now. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I've been grinding for so long, like, I don't notice it no more. But people really in the city, like, they rock with me. Yeah. I'm really starting to see that. Oh, yeah. Like, for sure. I never see it. I'm always working, so I'll never see it. And uh, I appreciate everybody for real. And that's good, for that. you know, because I know a lot of people, like, some people stop because they don't see the recognition. You yeah. don't need recognition. And you, you really don't, like. If you really do. Like if you really what doing, you say you doing, yeah, say you doing, man. But you can, man. It's been nice where I've been just grinding and just working on me and doing things, making beats, recording. You know what I mean? Like a lot of stuff and not get recognized for it. Do I care if I get recognized? No. Would it be nice to get recognized? Yeah. It feel good. But it, it definitely feel good. Feel good. And do I? Would that make me? Brand new, no. Like this girl uh this week asked me, uh, well TV, since you did uh you shot for Natalie Nunn, your prices went up, didn't they? Like, nah, it's still the same. You know what I mean? It's still the same. You hear me? Like, I'm not I done shot many celebrities and people and whatnot. Price is still the same. You know what I mean? Like, I'ma still be me. I could go up. Do I want to right now? No. I, I rock with the city enough, and the city rock with me enough to where I just have a relationship with the city. And, and you it. get what you're worth, though. If right. you need to That's go true. up, go up. And like you said, they they rocking with you, so they're going to pay. Yeah. Because you will be surprised. I, pro I probably would. I ain't going to lie. I definitely would. I feel like that with my hair prices. Yeah. I'm not expensive That's, at all. That's definitely, yeah. You could bring your baby. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I be trying <clears> to, like, be different because I know, you know, it's, I know it's not easy. I got kids, Man, yeah, you know? no, it's, it's not easy. So it's just like, you want to go get your hair done, but can't nobody get the baby right now. Right, right, this right. girl said that the babies can't come. <clears throat> Some people don't let you use the bathroom. Oh, Sometimes crazy. you got to come sit in dirty conditions. Right, Like, right, right. you know what I mean? So, right. if your kids get to doing too much... I might be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't bring them back next time or something. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. But for the you, most part, have you, you encountered uh, that? Have you encountered mm -mm. that? Oh, that's good. Mm -mm. Nope. That's good. I never had to tell nobody you can't bring your kids back. Right. But right. um Keanu love the kids. I do. She love the kids. I do I love the kids. <laughs> so it's just like, um, yeah, come on. Come get your hair done. Come, you know, right. you can listen to some music or whatever. Yeah. Cool vibes. Yeah, yeah, vibes. That's what it's about. Let your kid watch a little movie while we uh, do your hair. But sometimes I be feeling like I could, I could go up on my prices. Right. Because like, the economy is crazy. It is. Economy crazy. And if I did it full time, I would go up. Yeah. But I understand that this is my side hustle and it ain't, it ain't I don't need them. Right, right, you know? right, right. And so I'm not mad if somebody charge a lot and that's their primary job. They mm -hmm. need it. Yeah, they need it. Yeah. They gotta feed their kids, you know? Right, right. So and whatnot, yeah. Definitely understand. I'm not saying I don't need it, they but need it, right? Because we all <laughs> it's just need. not my primary yeah, like right, money. Right. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You ain't but you I ain't, need it. You ain't money hungry. I need mine. But yeah. I'm not money hungry. You're and not. You're not. and You're I don't not. love money. I, I love I love what money can do. I love right. the peace right. that money could bring, you know? Exactly. Yeah. But I don't do whatever for money. Right. I don't do anybody here. I don't. Yeah. I don't do. I don't do whatever it takes to make some money. Mm -hmm. And I get like I'm not mad at you if you do. Right. That's you. That's true. Yeah. You like you know if yeah. you yeah you know I mean you want you want to make if you money, money hungry and you don't mind you right. know fucking somebody over for money go ahead you right, know right, right. You. I ain't really I ain't gonna rock with you though. I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't, Me either. I ain't, I ain't gonna rock with you. I'm <laughs> just saying. Me either. Because I can't trust you. Right. Exactly. You give me a going for some money. <laughs> That's why I don't trust people like that. Because yeah. money is going, it's, a, it's it's going to take you some places that right. ain't never going to take me. Right, right, right. So before I even let it even get to that point, you show me that, that that's what you're motivated by then. Mm. Mm -mm. It ain't nothing wrong with it though. I love money, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, man. I, I want a lot of it. I want to, you know, I want to. Man, y'all, he get. I want a ball. Man, but what? 
it's it's not I'm not gonna like it's not gonna I'm not gonna risk my risk morals it. and my yeah. principles for yeah. it. It's yeah. gonna come. I'm my money magnet. Money Man. gonna come. Nah, for real. Hey, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like money definitely comes when you when you doing good and you putting good into the world. The world gonna get good back to you. It do. You know what I mean? Like for real. Like you can be down tomorrow up the next day and don't even know it. I don't, I mean, I be trying. I'm not going to say I don't never worry, but I don't worry a lot. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I think, like, I don't worry a lot, you know. I think that's a lot of, that's a new school thing anyway, though. Like, our parents Hmm. stressed a lot. Our parents. They did. They did. We, these days, (laughs) nobody ain't taking nothing serious. We ain't stressing about nothing. People, I won't do it, but people going and spending their rent money, they don't, they yeah, it's they, coming they, back. They, they yeah, just got that attitude. Back, yeah. And guess what? For some people, yeah, it probably it do. do. I swear it do. You know? I swear it do. But some so, people, it don't. Some people don't. Some people don't. <laughs> but you, you, that's But that's life is about yeah. experience. You know, live. It is experience, but I ain't going to lie. If, it, if it's my rent money, I ain't, I ain't touching my rent money. I ain't, ain't yeah. going to hold you. I ain't, I ain't touching that's my rent. That's just priorities. That's, that's priorities. And some people ain't got that. They ain't got no priorities. They like, yeah, I'm going to the ball every week at the club. Yeah. And then be broke. Anybody that can do that ain't got no priorities. And man, what? I'm telling you. I mean, unless you just rich. Yeah. You got it like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> they paying you to come to the yeah. club. Yeah. Why yeah, not? I mean, right. Why not? Yeah. But no, this was a, a very good episode right now. First episode, y'all. Yeah. First episode, yeah. I mean, she wasn't looking at the camera now in time. You feel me? There's a big screen in front of her. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, can okay, nah, but she did good though, y'all. Man, look, it's too easy. This talks so easy. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We're gonna be back with another one. I don't know who coming on, but stay tuned. You feel me, Kiana? Appreciate you. Uh, what's your social? Let them, let them, let them follow you too. Oh, you can follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Pretty dot little dot key. Okay, I'll put that down at the bottom. You know what I mean? I get to that. Get to that. Um, social media I'm gonna promote <laughs> oh yeah man y'all she already done deleted her snapchat you feel <laughs> crazy ain't we gonna get on that side cause we done we done we, we ain't gonna get to that well, alright y'all we out man it's your boy too easy man you know what I mean we done she had it hit it you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we out of here y'all <laughs>